29 years now and basically we travel all over the UK uh, doing charity firewalks to help fundraising. So just down doing a firewalk tonight so so can't believe it actually happened but it was amazing, really fantastic. We've been doing a number of things, we've been raising money which is vitally important for guide dogs to the blind but what we've also been doing is just really throwing down the gauntlet to sighted people and blind and partially sighted people and say well actually there's nothing that blind and partially sighted people can't do um, and as you saw yourself there tonight there were a couple of blind and partially sighted people that went across the, the hot embers just like the sighted people and everybody's in the same boat, the same level of fear so it's actually about raising awareness of the impact of, of sight loss, it's about making it um, so helping people to understand that actually, you know, blind and partially sighted people are just the same as you and I and they want to do the same things as you and I want to do. Um, and it's about having a bit of fun as well because we want to raise money and the best way to do that is if you're having fun. So, so that's really what we've been about tonight. Tonight we have between 35 and 40 uh, individuals who bravely stepped forward uh, and they all managed fantastically and all succeeded in their achievements. Someone told me if you walk across the hot coals for a guide dog and I said I'd do anything for a dog, so of course no bother. So but really it was it was for uh, friends got involved and you know when one friend says yes, then you all have to do it. Can't be chicken and night. It's it's more trying to convince them we can do it. So it's, it's physically possible to do, uh, but it's just letting them know that you can and how to get around the barriers. Total fear, we ne nearly didn't come, at the door nearly turned around and walked the other direction, then they got us downstairs and the chanting started and everyone was going and once everyone's sitting there is going to do it, then you can't, can't say no. raised in Northern Ireland stays in Northern Ireland so it's about helping to fund the services that we provide so we provide a really really broad range of things from the guide dog which is obviously our iconic service uh, but we're also helping other people who maybe aren't able to use a guide dog and maybe wouldn't be able to look after a dog we have a sighted guiding service where we can help people get out and about their own homes with the, the, the support of a, a sighted volunteer who's been very highly trained we've got services for children and young people so the spectrum's quite Broad. We do a lot more than probably people realise. We don't just um, give people guide dogs, but it's still a key part of what we do. Total amped up, want to do it again. Absolutely loved it. Um, to can't believe it happened. Um, and um, just won't, don't know what to do next. So, yeah, totally. <laughs> visit us on our website, which is guidedogs.org.uk, or they can visit us on our, our Northern Ireland Facebook page, which is guide dogs forward slash uh, guide dogs Northern Ireland. Oh, yeah, you, you still get the buzz and excitement afterwards. <laughs>